Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. How do you do? Uh, we have a. Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. 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 So, how have you been? Tell everybody how you've been. I mean, I haven't seen you in so long. Not so bad, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, it all started one day. I was walking around in peak skill, and guess what happened? I was born, you know. I was so I was so scared when I was born. I didn't talk for the first year. Ah, yeah. Well, uh, you know what happened? <laughs> nothing. Nothing happened at all. That's what peak skill is like, you know. Yeah, nothing in peak skill. Huh? Nothing happened. But then I came back and made this sign. So now, oh yes, he made the the vehicle sign. No e vehicles in this building. No e vehicles. We don't want to go on fire. I I have enough tan as it is. I don't need to get fricasseed. Yeah. From no. uh, e vehicles. I got three broken ribs from uh, e scooter, but um, that's beside the point since nobody gives a shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, and let's see. Um, so. Uh, You've moved back to New York, is that correct? Yeah, I've already moved uh, two you months ago. You signed a lease in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, yeah, two months ago. Uh, two months ago. Actually. So you're going to be uh, transporting all the cats and dogs and fish and monkeys and yeah, we're wildlife bringing, that you have up there in Peekskill. You're going to be transporting them to Brooklyn. We're bringing all the apes in, you know. All the apes in to Brooklyn. All of them. I got this all day. However, we do have this marvelous writing piece. Thank you for watching uh, uh, WNYC. This piece. This, this is. Let me say, let me tell them. This is something that I wrote 20 years ago at a writing seminar. They asked me to write down what what happens in your dreams. Like I thought that was pretty lame, but I, yeah. I, this is what I wrote, and Benjamin's going to read it. He's Benjamin. I mean, you know, long after I'm gone, Benjamin's going to be top comedian. He's gonna make Jerry Seinfeld look like um, look like I don't know Yogi Berra or something. Yeah. Well, um, this piece was written by Giovanni Campo. He's actually our guest star today. <laughs> I had a dream. My parents left me just like they always threatened. But when I woke, they were still there. They were still there. I had a dream. I owed the world something. Because I could play and write music that inspired people at an early age of 12. But when I woke, I still owed everybody, inspired everything, and still had holes in my back. I had holes in my shoes. This is a part of the whole woke scheme, see? Yeah. I had a dream I could write things that matched to someone. When I woke, the words were still coming out, but no one cared to read them. No one cared to read them. I had a dream. I could be respected. For my hard work and accomplishments. But when I awoke, I only had more hard work staring at me right in the face. <laughs> what are you are you doing FDR now? No, Martin Luther King. Oh, Martin Luther King. Oh. Oh. I had a dream. <laughs> Martin Luther King. Oh. Oh. I had a dream. <laughs> I was an invisible to everyone but the authorities. But when I awoke, everyone was very apologetic. But I was still invisible. Still invisible, man. I had a dream. <laughs> People asked me for help. And when I did, was, what? When I did, I was told to shut up and mind my own business. And when I awoke, I was still helping. Still helping. Still helping. I had a dream. I forgot the meaning of integrity. For when I woke, it was not me. It wasn't me. I had a dream. All the white people were sent to reservations by the Bureau of Caucasian Affairs. Caucasian Affairs. But when I awoke, we're all still speaking English. They're all still speaking English. I had a dream. I died, and all my music and books were being sold for millions by a guy named Julie that said, Bada Bing! A lot. <laughs> but when I awoke... I was just the musicians' union calling for my back dues. Back dues, man. I had a dream. I was depressed, but and the spirits came to show me the way. Show me the way. But when I awoke, it was the spirits, all right. But they came they in came a bottle. In a bottle. Oh, spirits, why? I had a dream. I told my dreams to stop, and my dream said I could stop anytime I wanted. But then when I woke, I was still dreaming. Damn it!
I had a dream that other people weren't responsible for my happiness, but when I awoke, they were responsible for my happy unhappiness. Unhappiness. I had a dream. I asked my dad what decision he regretted, but when I awoke, he must have stumped me because he just kept staring at me. Kept staring. I guess. Yeah, I, I guess uh, that about wraps it up. You know what I'm saying? So we went today to the drugstore. I told him what happened. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It did happen. <laughs> <laughs> went to the drugstore to buy Musimex D, and I had to bring my driver's license or my passport to get Musimex D, which is cold tablets. Now, I bought an AK-47 last week. I didn't have to give him anything. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, you know, uh... I love the Republican Party. You know, what else, what's next? We're going to be... Uh, small nuclear weapons we're going to buy at, uh, you know, at random. Yeah, you know, you know whose fault this is? Who? Obama. My name it was Obama's fault. Obama. He was the one that sunk that submersible. Yeah, it was him. It was and Obama. He actually, I know it was Obama. He went back in time to sink the Titanic. He sank the Titanic, too. So, so that these people would die. That's right. You can't get away from it. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. It's amazing how such an evil man could do such things. So where are you going to go to school? You want to go to Stuyvesant? Yeah, no. This kid wants to go to Stuyvesant. I want to if go. If you know anybody, we can, like, you know, slip you a couple of bucks to get in so he can get into Stuyvesant. Or, or LaGuardia. Uh, or LaGuardia. Actually, um, a friend of mine teaches at um, Music and Art, and he wants you to go there. So, I'll go there. That would be really cool. But what is it? Music and art. I think music and art is a party, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's a trumpet player and he teaches there and he's in the union. Great guy. He's from New Orleans. Yeah. And um, that's the way it goes. So tonight we're going to go through the show that I oh, wrote. Yeah. I wrote the music for 10 artists. I wrote 10 compositions, one for each artist, yeah, and uh, I wrote the intro music also, and uh, we're going to go be there at 7 o'clock uh, for the showing at the Elizabeth Street Garden, at Elizabeth Street between Spring and Prince. What the hell is that? That's supposed to be me, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that looks pretty good, man. You, know, you without if eyeballs. I know, if I thought dying was so easy, I would have done it long ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wish I could get back on my bike, but I have three broken ribs. Yeah, because of those damn e-bikes, which is why this signing. The guy, the guy hit me, broadsided me on the bike path with his, with his um, scooter, broke my ribs. Yeah. Small concussion, Three. just a small concussion, and uh, a lot of scrapes and bruises, and uh, I was called all sorts of names by this person. And, you know. Yeah, he called him a white supremacist. And it looks like the West Side is really going wacko over this. They want to, it, it's a big groundswell of support to uh, eliminate uh, e-bikes. Yeah. But I don't really see it happening, but, um, you know, if they need me to help them, I'm all behind it because um, I I really believe that um, human power is just the way to go, man. I mean, you know, it's nice to have an e-bike, but once you open that can of worms, I mean, what's the incentive for somebody to buy a pedal bike? I mean, no one's going to buy a pedal bike. It's going to be a thing of, like, you know, the uh, the past. Yeah. And it's a shame because we're all going to be fat and lazy and stupid. Lazy, shiftless bastards. Which pretty bastards. much, you know, what, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> so um, we were at the uh, store and uh, you did Obama, right? Yeah, at and the wine store. We, we wrecked him. We, we laughed him up. Do Obama again. Yeah. Uh, there's already a video of me doing it. <laughs> I, I know, I posted it. 
But you can't do Obama too many times. I mean, you know, you're uh, going to be doing uh, JFK, and you're going to be doing. Hello, everybody. You're going to be doing um, Joe. Joe. Uh, if any of you guys don't know me, I'm Michelle's husband. I'm Brock, and this is Aisha's husband. I love him. Oh uh, yeah. Well, okay, we're going to go now. So. Uh, we want to say hello. To Sonny and uh, all the ladies that love to see our videos. We're still we, recording. We love you all and we miss you all. And we hope that uh, Suzanne out in Dubrovnik and, and all. I, I hope I, I'm leaving out loads of people. But, um, yeah, you know, we have. have to excuse me, I have a slight concussion. A, s <laughs> a special thanks. To, to, um, to uh, who? Noah and to Noah uh, and Louis, Louis yeah. because they exist, and they also suggested this pizza place, which was looked like dog. Right. Noah and Louis are um, animators that uh, work upstairs here, and yeah. uh, they're very sweet guys from, from Minnesota, Minnesota, the land of small soft drinks. Yeah, and corn dogs. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Subscribe.